Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to fork any token contract and customize it for your own project on any network. By the end of this video you will learn everything you need and you will never need to buy a smart contract again or hire someone to create for you. But before we do that, let me tell you about this project called PattySwap, which is a, a project on Binance Smart Chain, and they're doing a pre-sale right now. They have a decentralized exchange, and they just started with their pre-sale, and they also have an, a free airdrop going on, so you might want to check this out and hopefully get in early of course this is not financial advice uh, you need to do your own research but it's a good uh, possibility for you to uh, make some money okay i will leave the link on the description for the patty pre-sale if you want to check it out and let's get started with our project so if we want to create a token and we want a smart contract for free the first thing we want to do is we find any token that has the functions that we need for example here i'm checking out tiger inu which is a token on binance smart chain i checked the smart contract functions and i like it so i'm gonna click on the code and I'm going to copy the smart contract. After that, I go to uh, remix.ethereum.org and I paste the smart contract here. Okay, so this is the smart contract. We want to delete the unnecessary things, which uh, the first one is this uh, green uh, comments. And then we have here more comments, which is uh, the socials for the project. We can delete these or we can replace with our own website and Telegram. I'm gonna delete. And then we can check the fees that we want to set up, the name, uh, symbol, uh, total supply and other functions so the first thing you do you want to check for addresses you can use a control F to search and we're gonna search for addresses so here we have the contract name let's say we want to create a token named tech addict and here we have the name And symbol after that we have the marketing address and team wallet which you want to replace with your own and then we have the fees we have liquidity fee marketing fee and team fee if we don't want liquidity so this means we have automatic liquidity if we don't want this we don't have to go around and delete the function and everything we can simply set it at zero after that we after we set the fees we have the total supply max transaction and max wallet then this one is minimum tokens before swap uh, if you watch it, my other videos you know this means when contract will sell tokens to send you uh, the fees and everything so this means when the contract reaches 100 tokens it will swap to uh, ethereum or bnb depending on the network you are in but how do we deploy this on other networks because this is on binance smart chain right and let's say we want to deploy on uh, Uniswap or base network. So the, what we do is we check for the router address. Uh, 
and here we have the PancakeSwap router which is uh, on Binance Smart Chain. To deploy this on Ethereum network, all we have to do is replace this with a Uniswap router. It doesn't matter if it's a sushi swap or Uniswap or anything, but it has to be Ethereum network router. So what we do is we search, I googled here, Uniswap router address for Ethereum and it popped up. So what we do is we copy this and paste it to our router. Okay, now we can freely deploy this on Ethereum network and everything will work properly. We add liquidity on the same uh, uh, exchange that we used a router. So uh, then let's say we want to use another token like it's Pepe token. We go to Pevic smart contract, we copy it and we paste it on uh, Visual Studio, um, sorry, uh, Remix and we want to change some functions. Let's say Pepe has a blacklist function, for example, and we don't want that on our contract. We can go ahead and delete it. Okay, uh, control F and search blacklist. You can see here we have the function blacklist and we can freely delete it. This means we will not be able to blacklist any wallets so our contract will be clean. After that you can go ahead and do the same simply uh, change the name and a total supply and everything and deploy. For uh, Pepe coin, it's something different that the router is set after you deploy. So you can simply deploy this contract on any network and after it is deployed, you can go and set the router. You can set the router and change it uh, anytime you want. So uh, this is it guys, this is how you uh, fork any smart contract. You can also uh, deploy this, let's say on Matic Polygon network. Uh, you can deploy it on base network. You simply find the router address and you replace it here. It doesn't matter it says Uniswap router or if it says uh, ETH, these are simply names. I can go and change this. Uh, you can see it's uh, compiled already. I can go and change this to BMB and it will still work. Okay. As you can see here, it says ETH, but I can change all the what wherever it's called with for example rubbed ETH I can go and change to rubbed BNB change all occurrences and rubbed BNB and it still it will work fine still we can change the ETH as well And it works well. This is simply names, but the only thing you should uh, remember is if it's capitals, it should be capitals. So you use this uh, button here to change only the names that match. So now let's uh, check with small letters. Uh, is Okay, we need to do a uh, wrapped ETH before because we have ETH on that too. So, yeah, oh, it's a comment. So ETH and we can 
simply change this to BNB. What matters is that it should be uh, it should be same letters. If it's capitals, it should be capitals. So BNB. Nothing changed. The contract works still the same. Or we can change this Uniswap to PancakeSwap. As you can see, nothing changed. You're ready to deploy and the contract will work perfectly. A good way how you can find uh, good smart contracts is you simply go to CoinMarketCap, uh, click recently added and you will find tokens that are recently added and get smart contracts for them from them. Now, uh, someone might say, I want a smart contract completely unique and I want it made from scratch. There is no contract made from scratch right now. It's all pieces put together. No one makes contracts from scratch. And also we want the quick stuff. We don't want to waste uh, much time. And the contracts, any contract does the job. And you can also make the contract unique by just changing a few stuff and it's unique. So this is it guys, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and see you in the next video.